While my faith is important to me, my study on a human psyche is also something I care a lot about. Surely you've heard the term, wherever you go, there you are? It's true, you know. People use various forms of escapism to try to mask how they feel about themselves. But the truth is, you are still you. If I only lived in a more modern town, if I only had a spouse or a better spouse, if I only had more money, none of those things will make you happy. You have to make you happy. And if you're trying to pin your happiness and self-satisfaction on more mundane pursuits, then you'll never really be happy because you didn't change. Your circumstances did. And if they change in a negative way, then you're worse off than before. True and long-lasting happiness usually comes from understanding who you are and who you want to be. Status may change you temporarily, but as we see all the time, the change can be a bad one. Who I am is a man in search for self-growth, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, and especially spiritually. I'm a man who wants to encourage others to do the same. If you learn to love who you are, you won't need escapism. I didn't learn this about myself by being around others. I learned that alone in self-reflection. And introspection may scare people, but it's the best way to dig deep into your psyche and realize the truth hidden from others and possibly ourselves. People are concerned about the Californian exodus because of valid concerns that they may bring what doomed California with them to infect the states they move to. That happens on a micro level as well. If you never learn the lessons of your failure, it's highly likely to happen again. So be true to yourself. Never let anyone dictate who you are and strive to be the best you that you can be.